Hello everyone, I'm back and today I am going to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects, self-confidence. I love that self-confidence and the thoughts around creating it because it's something that each and every one of us wants, right? Self-confidence is, first of all, defined as being secure in yourself and your abilities. And it really comes down to three different things. Being able to trust yourself, knowing that you can experience any emotion without being harmed, including fear. And lastly, it's your overall opinion of yourself. So let's look at the first one trusting yourself. It's basically knowing that you will do what you said you would do and that you'll follow through on your plan and take care of yourself. If you can't count on yourself, you'll feel insecure and at the effect of yourself instead of in charge and in control. Secondly, knowing that you can experience any emotion. Well, most of us spend way too much time in self-doubt because we don't know that we can handle anything that comes our way. When we know that the worst that can happen to us in any experience is an emotion, we will be flooded with self-confidence. And then lastly, your opinion of yourself. What you think of yourself is what generates or deflates self-confidence. Confidence is a feeling. Self-confidence is a feeling about yourself. And then lastly, I just want to say that self-confidence is not arrogance. Arrogance is thinking that you're better than someone else and trying to prove it. Criticism of others is really just a projection, meaning that we are compensating for our lack of confidence by trying to make ourselves better than someone else in our mind. This is why arrogant people often lie and exaggerate their abilities and their accomplishments. And the sad thing is that arrogance is really based on fear, not self-confidence. So with that, my friends, I hope that you will take some time and think about all of this and create more self-confidence in your life. Ciao.